The following video has been approved by the JD marketing team. It is rated JD for intense use of the word damn and many beaver related puns. This video may not be suitable for all beavers. Good morning and g'day mate. Welcome back to Timber Born with me, JD. So, in our previous episode, in our previous episode, we survived a drought. Our very, very first drought. And we got our basic colony up and running. We, we, we got some water. We got some food, and because we we're in playing on hard mode on a custom map, we even had to get forests up and running so we could start planting new trees, because we weren't given a lot to start with. And um, we have survived with plenty of water, plenty of food, actually we have more food planted than what we can actually harvest, along with 38 logs left over. And I did notice I have two unemployed beavers. In fact, actually, I have a few more than two beavers because flying beaver right here. Tube's looking for a landing strip. Yep. Uh, I need to remove this lumberjack flag to, to put, you know, trees there instead. Which means I want to rearrange some things. Which also means I want to spend what limited wood we have. And the way I want to spend it is in science. Because uh, we're sort of stuck in a holding pattern. Until we get our birch up and running, which is like seven days away. Seven days for the first birch crop to come online. We're sort of stuck. Flying beaver now has nothing to do. Excellent. Uh, we're going to plant a piece of pine in there instead. Um, so yeah, until the birch gets up and running and then pine gets up and running and we have a bit more stable wood income... We're just going to put the beavers to work in science, because I need a couple of things. Like, we're going to need stairs, and we're going to need platforms and, and double platforms and so on and so forth. But the other ones that I really want is I really want a triple lodge, okay? I'd really like to put a housing block back here behind, you know, the, the district center. Have our water storage down here. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to start planning things out early rather than last Let's Play, where we just ended up in a mess so first thing we need to do is we basically need to fast forward through time oh oh and the other thing we're desperately going to need is we're desperately going to need a windmill because we've already worked out this water wheel although it's worked whole video so far it has a habit of not working um so yeah i just need to put in like one of those giant time lapse things and skip forward and wait till things are a little bit more mature especially the forest so we can chop it down because that's the beaver way of doing things and you know what happens straight away we get a drought like we got one researcher up and running and then a drought Yep. Yeah. It is hard mode. Like, like it, it, it's bound to happen. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Our uh, third inventor is about to get up and running, which is good because then we'll have no unemployed beavers. Same time, I do have 10 logs left over. 10 logs is not enough to get quite anything done. But I did notice... Well, actually, let's, let's just do a quick head count. Zero. Ten and zero. Okay, so we know where our ten logs are. Now, I did notice that Lumber Mill happens to have seven logs in it, and I'm wondering if we can pull the logs out of it, and the best way to test that is we're going to throw down yet another inventor. Now, I don't have an idle beaver to do this, but I could always pull one off construction as we're not constructing anything, and throw them down there. At the same time, our birch is getting there... It's about 50% mature and probably about 60% planted. So I either need some more tiles or it's already set up. We're going to plant birch and that's going to be the priority. And then if all the birch is done, we'll have uh, the lubricated beaver come down here and plant some maple. Uh, same goes for Justin Beaver. He's set up to do pine first. Uh, actually... We might cancel that. Because there's a chance after we've done the birch, lubricated beaver can come help with the pine, and then we'll go over to maple. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to wait to see how many logs show up. Hopefully. Okay, so you have no logs, and you have three logs. 
hopefully we can steal a log out of this. Like, currently it's still 7 out of 13, so it doesn't look like anybody's stolen any logs, but... You know, we it might happen, it might happen. Okay, going by the fact that Bald... Bald Beaver, Munchy Beaver, One Night Beaver, and we have a Munchy Beaver twice. Okay, obviously the script is not 100%, or I put in a name twice, uh, are all sitting here doing nothing. You still have seven logs. And you're at 11 and 12, we're going to definitely say that we can't pull logs out of buildings. So once they go in, they can't come out, that's perfectly fine, at least now we know. Eventually, one of these trees will level up. Uh, 72%, 90%. So inside chopping range, it is inside chopping range. So once that levels up, we shall get uh, one more, just one, just one, one more inventor up and running. Uh, hopefully we can start cranking out the research whilst we head into a drought season. You know, 0.4 of a day before droughts come in. We've done all the prep work we can. We do have 165 water with about 20 beavers. 20 beavers are going to drink 40 water per day. So we can store about four days worth of water. Food is okay. Same story. We eat 20 food per... 40 food per day. So we've only got storage for, what, three days worth of food. Plus they could actually go harvest this stuff, providing it doesn't dry out. And it's a five-day drought. I, I think we're okay, but it does mean that, yeah, we're probably going to have to look at... A bit larger food storage, and unfortunately our two beavers, Clint Eastwood and Droopy Beaver, are, sorry, Clint, Clint Eastwood and Droopy Beaver are both hard at work, uh, just trying to maintain our food, our current food amounts, because, yeah, they're, they're, there's only two of them, and they can only feed about 30 beavers on just nothing but carrots. So, uh, what we're going to do is, I think we're just going to jump through the drought. We've got this built. Uh, let's bring Munchy Beaver. No. Nope. One Night Beaver. One Night Beaver off that. We're going to put them on research. We're going to jump through the drought because there's not a lot else I can do. Um, yeah. Like, I can't... Yeah, there's nothing else I can do until we have stable wood, which it looks like maybe I forgot to have lubricated beaver. Oh no, you're still planning over here. Uh, let's prioritize you to pine for just a moment. And we'll give you a whole section of maple. You can plant when you get bored. Because you can do a few more tiles. Alright, time to jump through the drought. It's here. It's happening. Our very first birch just grew all the way up. Uh, cycle 2, day 12, and of course, straight away, uh, beavers started coming down and chopping them down. At the same time, our lubricated beaver is going to come along behind them and plant fresh birch in their place, which should keep our forest up and running. Once lubricated beaver, like if, if lubricated beaver has nothing to do, they'll come over here and they'll plant some maple in the meantime, like so. Perfect. Uh, same time we have, Justin Beaver has planted all his pine, just because there's a drought on, some of it can't be planted, so they're over here planting some maple, not going to knock the back of the maple, and we are still trying to get through our drought. We have 1.7 day, uh, 1 1.3 days, I think... Yeah, I think we just need to wait. And research is going away along swimmingly. We're up to like 600 research. That's a massive amount. All right, so the drought's about to break. And there's a couple of things I want to do. First off, I want to unlock some tech, okay? We're going to need a windmill because we've already worked out this water wheel is not 100%. So we're going to unlock a water mill, uh, a windmill, and I'm going to drop that right in there with a power shaft, okay? So that's going to be step number one. At the same time, I'm going to need to unpause our lumber mill as soon as we possibly can. But before we start doing that, we're going to have to sort of get our population a little bit higher. Now to do that, we're going to need a couple of basic things. First basic thing we're going to need is another water pump. Um, that's going to be fairly important. Uh, the other basic thing we're going to need is a second farmhouse. Because as you can see from the carrot we've planted... And you can see the section that's growing. That's about all they can harvest. Okay. They can't harvest the, the rest of the carrots. So we're going to put in a second farmhouse uh, to help with the planting. Uh, I'm going to drop the priority on that. And we're going to let our three building beavers get on with it. 
Uh, obviously, they can build the power shaft without a problem. They can build the timber half of the windmill without a problem. They can't build the planky part until we make the planks, which requires the drought to be over and the wheel to be turning and so on and so forth. Uh, meantime, our planting beavers are doing an all right job. We're going to throw in a bit extra maple because the last thing I want is a forest of beaver idol. And we just need to continue till the drought breaks and we actually get like positive, positive water flow again. So drought has broken. First day is already over and done with. Uh, the river be filling. It not be full yet, hence the wheel not be working yet. Uh, as soon as the wheel is working, we need to unpause you and have you start running the uh, llama mill and start getting some planks out. At the same time, we have a water pump up and ready. We're going to have to bring... Hey, there we go. Wheel is working. We're going to have to bring uh, one night and flying beaver off research and put one night beaver into the llama mill and where did the other you're unemployed still and you say no unemployed beavers in district we're off to a great start game uh oh flying died of old age but flying was born okay it's okay flying was born and then flying died all right so we're currently one beaver down um we'll pull Munchie off that. Flying's on there. One night's on there. I still have one unemployed beaver somehow. Alright, we'll put Munchie back in there. We're about to get second farmhouse. Second farmhouse obviously going to need more employees, which means I need to do something about our population. So, we're going to unlock wooden stairs. That'd be great. Uh, platforms, that'd be great. Double high platforms, that'd be awesome. At the same time, I want triple lodges. Okay, now we're set up to do everything. The catch is we still don't have any logs, but one baby step at a time. So we can see that water, well, moisture levels come out to about here. So I want to go with... Alright, so we're going to start setting up a housing block. Now, the housing block is going to be... Uh... A little bit difficult to set up because we just don't have a lot of resources. In fact, I was going to set up double levels, but I think just because the absolute shortage of materials, we might shrink that back to just one level for the moment. Uh, but I will set that up so at least you can pathfind around. So we don't end up building things to destroy things to rebuild things. Okay. So, uh, if you're curious on how this housing block setup will work, I will leave a link up the top right hand corner and probably in the description below of exactly how I build a, a housing block, an apartment block. And we're going to go for about three tall. Should give us room for about 300 beavers. I have no idea if I actually want 300 beavers in my starting colony, but worst comes to worst, I can either just not build the houses or I can just pause them outright. Uh, and yeah, step one is going to be try and get, actually step one is going to be you highest priority. Uh, we'll set, actually we'll set all of that to zero. Okay. So your highest priority, your second highest priority, and then I want that as third highest. This, this is going to require some planks and some wood. Obviously wood, we probably have a lot of. Planks, not so much, because our wheel not be turning once again. Hence why we're going to try and get that wood mill up and... Uh, wood mill. Windmill up and running as soon as possible. And I'm going to continue to regret where I put my water wheel forever. Obviously, I would have preferred to put it here and then have a little bit longer path to get to the... Lumber mill, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, meanwhile, pine farm is going great. Birch farm is going great. We have a wood income. If we can get the farmhouse up and running, and then we can worry about the launch, we should be fine. Because that will just get more food. We've already got more water coming in. Obviously, more water storage would be great, but it's not going to happen right now. And, yeah... Alright, this was one of the things I was afraid of. I was afraid that we might get the lodge up and running before we actually had enough planks to get the platforms up and running. So, we're going to go with a backup plan 
And that is taking a triple lodge and putting it right here in the river. Because beavers generally live underwater. Yes. On top of that, this is the thing that's critically important. Because the path, the path for the lodge is above water and the entrance, it means the beavers can quite happily live in this lodge. Which is going to be our stopgap solution. Uh, we need more housing. We need more housing basically so we can pop up our or prop up our population so we can like have oh my god there's another drought oh boy the game does not let up at all um so we can have more than just toothy harvesting crops uh same time yeah we can see that's turned off again even though it now has a windmill there's just no wind and no water and yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd like several lumber mills, it turns out. At least then one of them would probably be rerunning. Probably. Possibly. Yeah, uh, we do have our wood problem looks to be sorted. We have pine now coming in as well. So again, I'd love to get more lumberjacks out there, but I just don't have the population. Do we turn off... Okay, we're going to turn off one more of those and then i guess we can turn on one of them at least then we can have oh actually probably chomps can go and construct instead because if we can get this done that will probably solve some problems and we can start getting the population bumped up a little bit all right housing is done we have room for extra beavers which is great uh you store how many uh, nine. Okay, so we've got room for extra nine beavers. At the same time, we're going to take a side step, and we're going to get a campfire. Uh, now, I did do a whole experiment on housing for campfires and other recreational items for uh, the rooftop terrace. The rooftop terrace for beavers. And found that the social life perk, giving them plus 25% fertility didn't really make an ounce of a difference but where it did make a difference is children i have no idea where this one child is uh not in there who is it it was chastity beaver it does make chastity beaver grow up faster and let's be honest like we're all waiting for chastity beaver to grow up faster and you know take a job at the local strip beaver joint yes yes Yes. By the way, if you're enjoying the series so far, you're enjoying the puns, you're enjoying the uh, never-ending beaver names, by all means, click the like button at the same time. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button because we're going to have a whole series with nothing but puns and beaver names. Oh my god, the damn puns. So our campfire is complete, which is good because the best way to get a child beaver to level up as fast as possible is let them play with fire unsupervised. Uh, at the same time, we have... Uh, huge died of old age unfortunately but at the same time we did have justin beaver justin beaver the second the third was born along with splinter along with a foreign beaver uh so we do have a few beavers coming online and we should yes we just got our second lodge up and running so now we can support 36 beavers which means technically we'd be running two water pumps flat out and probably two farms flat out so we definitely need to look at water storage and a few other things but we'll be doing that probably in the next episode yeah i think we've got enough done for this episode a little bit of a shorter episode but a hard mode is definitely harder we're going to start with a next episode a, a brand new drought of course uh same time oh okay same time, obviously, we're going to have to move some lumberjacks over closer to over here. Uh, just because this is where the wood is. And there is only uh, the lumber squirrel actually harvesting the pine. Which is not good enough. Not good enough at all. So, uh, I will see you guys in the next episode where we will get, obviously, some more things done. We'll see how long the next drown is. Probably another five or six day. Uh, and we, as we can now start increasing our beaver population, along with have the children level up a little bit faster leaving them unsupervised playing with fire it all should be good anyway with all that said thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the very next episode of hard mode all right thanks for watching bye